England have a leadership problem, you do not stumble at the final hurdle in two European finals, in a row even, and something not be fundamentally wrong. But at the same time, you don't make it to those finals in the first place without a lot of things being right. So where does the real issue lie? Is it with Gareth Southgate? Is it with the players, the FA? What's going on? And why does this golden generation only seem really capable of winning silver? I don't know about you, but what makes this so annoying to me is the fact that this seems to be like only a thing that happens to England, really? How many times have you heard this story? We have an incredible generation of players, but they just fail to deliver the goods, you know, on the biggest stage. And that is what has happened multiple times now. You know, thinking back to sort of Gerrard and Lampard, that, that we had the same problems. We had an incredible amount of players, but we just couldn't get things to click, which seems to be how it is now. England has always really had a pretty decent squad just because of the Premier League and the incredible management that is in the league means that these players are kind of brought to the highest level. So it makes sense that our national team would be very good as well in terms of player quality. But things just haven't translated into winning that final trophy, you know, winning the Euros final and it just hasn't worked. I will never forget losing that Euros final that summer. It was absolutely one of the worst days of my life. And I know, and I know that can sound really privileged and it probably is. But as someone that is so invested and loves football so much, it's, for me, it was a terrible day. I remember just going out to the stairs in my mate's house that we were watching it as a kind of group. I just went onto the stairs. I just sat there with my head, with my head in my hands for a good 10 minutes just contemplating. It was awful. Anyway, the loss surprised kind of absolutely nobody. I think a general trend that we've seen with Gareth Southgate over the past couple of years, well, good chunk of years, six years even, is that we fail to be a bigger opponent than us. We've seen it so many times. France, Spain, Italy, whenever Gareth Southgate has faced a better opponent, he has failed. And I largely blame that on his leadership skills. I don't think he he was the man for England just from his demeanor alone. Gareth Southgate just kind of reminds me of, um, he reminds me of Oli, Oli Gonosolskjaer, kind of arm around your shoulder type manager that's going to, you know, be your friend. And he's not, he's not going to command that respect that I think some of these players need. And I can slander him as much as I want, really. But what you cannot deny Gareth Southgate is that he's a fantastic group stage manager. I'll give him that. The man knows how to get out of a group stage. That is for certain. That is something that England fans have never had to worry about. We've always gotten out of the group stages. Enter Lee Carsley. Two wins in two games, pretty convincingly as well, which have touched me in a way that even Diddy couldn't. It's incredible. And some people will say, oh, you know, it's 2-0. It's not that impressive. And, you know, they, they have a right to say that. But all I'm happy about is the fact that we just, we went up and we didn't park the bus and immediately for 90 minutes. And there are kind of, there are talks now amongst journalists that it's Lee Carsley's position to lose. And that could mean one of two things, really. It could mean that obviously he's in the position and it is his to lose, or that the media expect him to be the next manager of England. And I'll be honest, if it's the latter, I'm not convinced. We've spoken about leadership and how this team needs someone that they can look to in times of need, when they're drawing a game, when they're losing a game, when they need to get over the line. And, you know, all of that is in young players, really. England's leadership generally comes down to players that, no offence, have not won enough trophies. They have not been at the highest level. I'm just not 100% convinced by that decision if it is the case. When I think of an England manager, I think of someone that should demand respect and is a leader and Lee Carsley just does not give me that. You know, when Zidane, when Zidane went into that Real Madrid dressing room, you know, full of superstars, Ronaldo, Bale, Benzema, Modric, Kroos, just Casemiro, an unbelievable crop of players, all their egos needing checking, Zidane walks into that room and they're all quiet. They all respect him and they suddenly have a common goal. And that is what I think England needs. Like this team is so talented, it is ridiculous. No disrespect to Lee Carsley, of course, but what would some of the best managers in the world do with this team? What would Pep Guardiola do with this team? What would he do with Trent Alexander-Arnold and Jude Bellingham and Bakayo Saka, some of the best talents in the world? It's been such a long time since England have got the best out of a crop of players. I mean, the game the other night is just an example of that and that's what I'll praise Lee Carsley for is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Trent, Al Trent Alexander-Arnold is straight back at a right back for England and he just runs the whole show like absolutely like I think he created sort of five chances. Assisted Harry Kane was absolutely fantastic and we've had a manager for sort of six years that wouldn't play him over Kyle Walker, an aging Kyle Walker who is losing his biggest asset which is his pace. I just don't really think we have someone that those players can look up to, respect, put their faith in and work for at this current moment and I don't think Lee Carsley will provide that. And I don't think Gareth Southgate has provided it in the past either. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and maybe check out this video on Chelsea if you're wondering what's going on in that, you know, in that bizarre football club.